One historic Columbia building's fate may be out of limbo tonight. Take a look. You may recognize the Niedermeyer apartments in downtown Columbia. They were originally built in 1837 to house the Christian Female Academy, now Stevens College. This year, the building's owner planned to sell it to a St. Louis student housing developer that planned to tear it down. KMU 8's Dan Kennedy is live there now. And Dan, what's changed? <coughs> If you're a history buff, you may know that when this apartment complex was built in 1837, Andrew Jackson was president. Now fast forward many years later, many presidents later, we can now confirm that St. Louis company Collegiate Housing Partners has agreed to sell this building. So for now, the structure stays standing. The founder of Boone County of Columbia, its first mayor, its first postmaster. Elizabeth Gentry Syod names off the laundry list of hats her great-grandfather once wore. State senator in the first legislature that met in Jefferson City. Also on General Richard Gentry's resume, he built this building, now the Niedermeyer Apartments, 175 years ago. Collegiate Housing Partners wanted to buy this four-story apartment complex and turn it into a 15-story building for student housing. Now, to give you a perspective of what that would look like, that's the Tiger Hotel here in downtown. It is 10 stories tall. And perhaps to paint a more accurate picture for you, show you what it would look like, if you go on the other end of downtown, you see Paquin Towers. It's the tallest building in downtown, standing at 15 stories tall. We have listened to your concerns. And Collegiate Housing Partners decided against demolition. One of our company's core principles is being a good community developer, and listening to the community plays a large role in that. But now it's selling the building, and the historic home at 10th and Cherry is preserved. This place catches people's eyes. You know, I always, my window's always open. I always hear people like asking like each other who don't know about this building, like what what it is. Now tenants like Henry Lowe will continue to call this home, and Gentry's great great grandfather's legacy lives on. If a community doesn't know its stories, it has no history. MU math professor Naki Asmar bought this building for an undisclosed amount. He wouldn't talk to us today, but another person did, Britt Gardner. He's a realtor and a member of the Historic Preservation Commission. He says unlike other uh, historic preservation projects he's worked on, everyone wanted to see the Niedermeyer State. Reporting live from downtown Columbia, I'm Dan Kennedy, KMU 8 News.